And now Detroit Governor Rick Snyder is promising more help for the residents of Flint. Yeah, today the governor announced his team will have an increased presence in Flint as it tries to deal with the water crisis. Also today the ACLU filed a lawsuit asking a federal judge to force the state and the city to replace the lead pipes in Flint at no cost to residents. The lawsuit also accused the state of violating the Federal Safe Drinking Water Act. At this point, no estimate just how much it would cost to rid Flint's water lines of the lead, but the governor says Michigan taxpayers could be on the hook for as much as $55 million. Michigan's congressional delegation is not sitting idle while the crisis in Flint plays out. They are introducing a bill that would clarify the EPA's authority to notify people if lead is found in their drinking water. Yeah, joining us now to talk about this bill is U.S. Senator Gary Peters. Senator, if, if the facts seem to, to lead us to this point, Miguel Del Toro from the EPA did try to warn people way back last June or July there was lead in the water, and his boss told him not to say anything. So how is this bill going to prevent something like that from happening again? Well, it, it can't happen. Uh, there needs to be complete transparency, and that's what this bill does. Uh, the EPA certainly warned the state of Michigan, tried to get the state to put in the necessary chemicals, tried to get them to warn folks. They didn't. This adds a level of accountability, which clearly states if the EPA knows that something is wrong, uh, they unfortunately thought they didn't have legal authority to go public. This says they must go public, and they must do it within 15 days if a state or local authority does not make uh, that information public. Let's talk a little bit more about what can be done and what is being done at the federal level to help with this crisis. Well, we're doing everything we can uh, to bring resources uh, to, uh, to Flint. But let me say at the outset, first and foremost, uh, this is uh, without question a state responsibility. The state uh, broke it. Uh, the state needs uh, to fix it. This happened with uh, an emergency manager that made this uh, terrible decision. The state needs to put more resources in, but we're certainly going to be working here in Washington to bring federal resources. I've been working to uh, expand Head Start, for example. We're going to need educational services for children. We're going to need nutrition and also health care. All of those uh, areas that we're working on right now to bring more resources to the people of Flint. Yeah, Senator, predictably this has become a political matter. Uh, presidential candidate Bernie Sanders has already called for Governor Rick Snyder to resign over this. Uh, what's your opinion on, first of all, what he says about it, and where do you stand on it? Well, you know, I, I'm, I'm uh, not going to get into that. We, uh, we know there's a Department of Justice investigation. We know the state attorney general is looking at whether or not laws were violated and what was wrong. Uh, we'll let that process play out. My focus is first and foremost helping the people of the city of Flint. That means getting clean water to them as quickly as possible, not just the emergency water that's coming to them, but make sure the system is fixed so that it provides clean uh, water to the residents but also putting in place the long-term help that we're going to have to give the citizens, particularly the children. This is not something that will go away in the next few months. This is a decades-long program, particularly for children that were impacted while their brains were developing. Senator Gary Peters, we thank you for your time this afternoon. Thank you so much.